Ah, Dorothea. What are you doing here? I was actually waiting to see you. Were you going to invite me out to dinner? I accept. Yes, I was. I don't think it would be so bad to share a meal with you from time to time. How about tonight? I'm busy tomorrow. That's fine by me. What are you busy with, I wonder? Girls? And more girls? <laughs> Isn't it an unwritten rule not to ask about such things? But what a curious turn of events. Have you perhaps got an ulterior motive? No ulterior motives. If you're worried, we can just pretend this conversation never happened. No, wait! That's not what I meant. I just don't understand why you want my company now, when you've always been so cold to me. Have you perhaps fallen in love with me? <sighs> my stomach just got queasy. You know what? Maybe I'll eat on my own after all. Fine, fine, I get it. You want someone to chase your loneliness away. Something like that, yes. If you don't want to, I'll ask someone else. Don't dream of it. It would be my pleasure, milady. And to be clear, the reason you chose to spend time with me is my family, yes? Or is it my crest? Both? I'm just curious about such things. Say I was a commoner. Would you still have invited me to dinner? Is this really necessary for a simple dinner invitation? Actually, I have a question of my own. Say I was a hoarse-voiced old hag. Would you still be flirting with me? Would you still want to hold my hand and whisper sweet nothings? That's a difficult question. I have nothing against mature women, but... Even if you were an old man, I still would have invited you out. If you were a former noble exiled from his family, or an orphan from the streets, my heart cares not. <laughs> just kidding. I just wanted to try saying it. Of course it's better that you have money. <laughs> you little... Yeah, that's probably true. So, Dorothea, about that dinner? It would be an honor to have you join me tonight. And let's not talk about things like this over dinner, okay? Even if I was an old man or an orphan, huh?